Hey everybody, welcome back to the last part of elect uh, mag magnetism. Today we are talking about magnetic flux and a little bit about how that all works. So magnetic flux is going to be equal to the electric field times the area times cosine theta, the angle between the normal and magnetic field. So this is magnetic flux. This is a symbol for it. This is electric field, this is the area, and then cosine theta. Okay, so first of all, normal is the direction perpendicular to the surface. So if the surface is flat like this, the normal is going to be perpendicular to it, in this case going straight up or straight down. Um, in this case, if we have it flat on the y-axis, then it's going to be only on the x-axis like that. If it's at an angle, it's going to be angled the other way. Okay, so just a little bit about what normal means. Oh, one thing I should mention is magnetic flux. The units for that is Weber. We use WB for that. Okay, so when we calculate theta, this is kind of the tricky part, is we use the angle between the normal and the magnetic field. So for in this example, the normal is going straight up. And the magnetic field lines are also going straight up, meaning the angle between them is going to be zero. Okay. In this situation, the magnetic field lines are going up. And the normal is going to the right, so it's perpendicular, so it's going to be 90 degrees. And this one is kind of like at an angle. So we can say uh, the normal is going to be like this. And that's going to be uh, around a 30 degree angle. And that's important because cosine of zero is going to be one. So when it's going in the same direction, that's optimal for having the most amount of magnetic flux. While when it has this perpendicular angle, 90 degrees, the cosine is going to be zero. So it's, there's not going to be any magnetic flux. All right, so let's try some problems. A little bit of video about this. And here we go. A magnetic field is going to the right and passing through three uh, different surfaces of areas that have the same size, but in different orientations as shown. Rank each surface area from smallest to greatest magnetic flux. Okay. Well, I guess let's make the normal for each of these. A is going to look something like this. B is going to look like this. And C is going to look something like this. Okay. So we should know from the beginning this is a 90 degree angle. So B is going to be the smallest. And then C, this is going to be the 30 degree angle or 45 degree angle or something. So that's going to be small. And A is going to be the biggest because it's going in the same direction. So remember magnetic flux is equal to the magnetic field times the area times cosine theta. And this theta, the magnetic field is the same for all of them. The area is the same for all of them but the angle is going to be different. And if it's going in the same direction, that means the angle is going to be zero and cosine of zero is one, the highest possibility. While cosine of 90 is going to be zero, making the whole magnetic flux zero, while cosine of 30 or 45 is not as much as one. Okay, so it's going to be B, C, and A. All right, moving on. A magnetic field of 1.8 a Tesla is moving through a square loop where one of its side is 0 0.006 meters in length. The magnetic field is perpendicular to the loop. What is the magnetic flux through the loop? Okay. So this is, the side here is 0 0.006. And this side here is 0 0.006. I know it might look a little bit different, but we're at an angle, so it's a little hard to see, but it does say it's a square. So we know that the magnetic flux is equal to magnetic field times area times cosine data. So the magnetic field is 1.8 Tesla times the area, which is, that's just one side of the length, 0 0.006. But if we square it, now we have the area times cosine. And this is going in the same direction as the normal. Oops, sorry. Do that weird. Same direction as the normal. <laughs> Still weird. So that's going to be zero. So let me put this into my calculator. 0 0.006 squared times 1.8. And we get something like point 
zero zero one two three four six four eight Weber. Okay, or six point four eight times ten to the negative five Weber. All right, moving on. I believe this is the last one. Magnet field is pointed at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal and goes through a loop, uh, a wire loop with an area of 0 0.008 meters squared that is positioned upright. Magnetic flux through the loop is 1.3 Weber. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field? Okay, what is the magnitude? Okay, so again, the formula is magnetic flux is equal to the magnetic field times the area times cosine theta. This time we're looking for the magnetic field. So let's do this magnetic field divided by A times cosine theta is equal to the magnetic field. Okay, so let's simplify this. B is equal to magnetic flux, which is 1.3, divided by the area, which is 0 0.08 times cosine n. So if this is going to be, if the normal, it's going to be straight, you know, it says it's upright. And this angle here is 40 degrees. Yeah, we can say this is 40. So now let's just put this into our calculator. 1.3 divided by 0 0.08 times cosine 40. And we get 21.21 .21 Tesla. Okay. All right, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everybody, for Magnetism. I hope I see you with the next chapter. Bye.